So this is a continuation of the configuration of the of Azure Active Directory Connect Cloud Sync. So right now I want to actually add some scoping filter. So you see by using fil filtering, you can control which object appears in Azure AD from your on-premises directory. So the default configuration take all objects in all domain in the configuration forest. Here, if I go to add scope here, you can see it says it's actually all users at the moment. But we can decide to go to select some extra, some security groups or selected organizational units. So I'm just going to leave that for all users. And then we're going to actually let me just click create for that. Okay, and then next we're going to go to the say, map attribute, um, which is optional. Here we can see map attribute between your on-premises users or group object and the object in Azure Active Directory. This capability has been added to the cloud scene configuration. So let me just click on that. Here we go. Here you can see we can actually says okay which of the attributes we want to actually match we can see we have different kind of attributes but at this moment this this attribute can also be found in the attributes in your on-prem active directory so here you can see all the different attributes you want to match if for example you can say well there's some attributes i don't really want like the thumbnail photo i want to actually delete that so are you sure you want to delete i can just say delete and you can say, for example, I don't want to actually have the public delegates of the post office board. So you can actually see which of the attributes you want to delete. After actually doing that, you can now click Save Schema or we can restore to default mapping. So let me just click Save. I'm going to say OK. So I'm going to update that. So let me just close that for now. And then we can now click Create as well. So it's the compilation has been successfully saved. And also here you can see we have test which is recommended. Azure AD Connect Cloud Syncs allows you to test configuration changes by applying the changes to a single user or group. You can use this to validate and verify that the changes made to the configuration were applied. So let's try to do a test and see. So it says enter a user. Enter the active directory's distinguished name of the user. Let me just do the following um, Kelvin dot Johnson and let's try to see if that's going to work. Probably all the info I've not started syncing from the from on premises of the cloud, but let's just see if that works. Okay, at this moment, say it is failed. The input entry was not found in Active Directory. Well, I think it's still being provisioned. Let me just go back again to my active users and see. Go to all users. So uh, at this moment, you can see we still have all the users which uh, was which were created actually um, from the on-premises. The, the users from the um no, which which was created in the cloud. The users from the on-premises are still yet to be provisioned to the cloud. So let's just wait for some minutes for this to get done. So what we need to do right now actually to make sure that everything starts syncing very, very quick is to go to our Azure Active Directory and then you can see it says the Azure AD, AD Connect is actually enabled. So let me just go to my um, AD Connect and then here we have the Cloud Sync. So if I go back to my Cloud Sync and I click, you can see they say the status is actually disabled. And what I need to do right now is I will need to just scroll down here and then just select enabled and then we can now click save. Save is saves so it's trying to actually save our configuration, save configuration, save successfully. Here you can see it says manage attributes. You can actually manage our attributes from here as well. Validate recommended. We can actually provision the user and also we have our scope. You can see so you can click to edit uh, scope. So after some minutes, you can now see that um, all our users are now being synced to the cloud. You can see we have different users here, a long list of different users that are, that are now being synced to the cloud. Here we go. You can see these are just long, 
list of users and if i go back again to my active directory let me just open my active users and computers uh, let me open my users and computers and let me expand this so if i go back again to my let me go to curve global and here you can see we have um different users so we have different users account for the brussels you can see we have a long list of users and here we go you can see we have long list of users all these users we are created actually using powershell script so uh, let me just you can see we have long list of users so all these users are now being synced to the cloud you can see the user just keep on going and going and going so what we are going to do next is i'm going to show you how to actually install and configure the um, azure active directory connect which you can actually use side by side with the um, uh, azure active directory connect and the cloud sync so i'm going to show you how to actually use side by side the cloud sync and the standard your standard azure um, active directory connect which can be managed from your on-premises um, server and not from the cloud so if i go back again to my microsoft 365 here you can see this is my microsoft 365 admin center and right now all my users have been synced to the cloud so as you can see we <coughs> sorry for that so we just saw all the users in azure active directory so let me just do a refresh here you can see again all our users are also being synced to here to our office 365 environment and you can see it says the, all the users are actually on licensed so here we go you can see the long list of users that have been synced to the cloud so next we're going to see on we're going to see how to install and configure the azure active directory connect